Hey everyone, this is Kelly Pointer with KPTV75 on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Also, Pointer's Motor Supply, your local and United States Amsoil dealer. Alright, today what I want to explain is how to get around uh, Daytona, which is a simple track. Most people can get around it, but how to do your qualifying lap at Daytona. Uh, how to prepare for it, how to get out of the pits, how to take the corners, and out lap first lap and the second lap so i'm gonna get right let me into know it if you want to work with me man uh you want to work with me i'll hold the lap right down let me know. i guess well, i'll have to mute that let's get to that real quick you don't know where you want me at mute whatever just following there we go all righty so let's go ahead and get on the out lap I'll try to explain it and not hit the wall while I'm explaining it. And then I'll do a lap uh, showing you what I do exactly. You don't want to spin your tires. Shift up. You know, always prior. You could shift up in the third. Like right now I'm in third. Blip the throttle. Get up to about 123, 25 or whatever. As you come out, get closer to the end, where you can kind of straight line it, jam on that gas. 142 to 143 is where you pass it. Get up to about 152, shift. What we're going to do on this first lap, you see this little line on the right hand side? We're not going to cross that. If you do, pretty much you're putting air on the back, back of your car. But we're going to stay up high. See this green light right there? I'm going to start coming down a little bit and release the steering wheel to let it drive up. This is our first outlap, so we're not going to do much. We're just going to stay high, build up our speed. 176 across the line. <clears throat> let the car flow into the corner, then you kind of have to be there to catch it at the right time. I always like to come down in each of the corners coming out of turn two and turn four. And stay high. Come down a little bit. Straight line it. There you go. You see the second line coming up? That's where we're going to let the car flow down. We're going to get it down to that line. Flow up a little bit. This is our first lap of qualifying, okay? We're going to let the car come into the corner. And then we're going to take over. We're going to drive it. You let it turn itself a little bit. And flow out. Release that steering wheel so it just releases keeps you going straight as possible stay in the middle it's okay then you let it you find that point release I like to come down right here before the Now that's a good lap right there. 420 is a pretty darn good lap. I'm, I'm down to 379. Maybe if I'm not explaining it. So what I want to do is I want to go through the replay. <clears throat> All right, so let's get out into far chase. Get on our first lap. Let's go all the way to Pit entry. <clears throat> All right. First, you want to make sure you got your coffee. I'm going to set this up so I have it down below. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Oops. Okay. Let's play. Let's get it going. You want to make sure you don't you're not spinning your tires. Oh.
some reason it's reset on me. Okay. <laughs> All right, you take off. Simple, right? Get through the gears. What I'm doing to get through the gears, okay? I take off in first gear. I'm already putting it in second gear. As I'm getting to the end of first gear, all I do is let off the throttle about 30, 40%, and it, it'll change it. So you're already in that gear. Then when I'm going through second gear, I'm already putting it into third gear. I'm doing the same thing once I get to the top end of second gear I just blip the throttle and it automatically shifts it to third gear on fourth gear you uh, at Daytona at least because um, you're at this point on this part of the track with this car the Menard series car you are feathering getting through this corner on the uh, out going on the outlap See how much throttle I have right here. So, <clears throat> okay, now, now, when I know that I can get to, I could full throttle it. I put it in fourth gear, and watch the throttle trace right here, and you'll see it just blip. And I'm already in fourth gear by now. My shifter's in fourth gear, and I just blip it. That's how you get through the gears good. You don't have to use the clutch. But you want to stay below this line because the air coming off of this car is coming back and hitting onto the tail, onto the wing, uh, spoiler. So you just got to be careful of that. You always want to dive down because you want to use... This, this track has so much... is like three stories from the top to the bottom of the track. So, you want to utilize that speed to build up. You know, first lap, okay, sure, but second lap, especially coming out of turn four, is important. So, on our L lap, we are staying high. <clears throat> Cross the line at about 176, 177. Staying below this. Kind of let it drive in. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm holding it straight, but I'm letting the car and the track drive me into the corner. Then at a point, you kind of got to catch it with your wheel. And you got to time that, you know, where that happens about just to get the best uh, feel for it and best way to do it. So then I come down. not important and you can drive anywhere but it's just you don't want to be against this wall and I'll come down right here and I'll let it flow up I let it let the car flow up and then I'm looking for that second line right up here I'm looking for that second line All right, so let me show you something. All right, so <clears throat> we're waiting for that, and what we're doing is the track, the tra the banking's going to automatically drive us down. It's going to help us get down to the bottom. You might have to drive it down a little bit yourself to get to the bottom, but you just do that down to the bottom and you flow out you just let the car drive its way out what I'm doing right here is I'm looking for a straight line as far as I can in this corner where I can drive it straight because the car is going to automatically drive down into the corner so go from here then I catch the wheel right there hold it you can hold it lower you don't want to really follow this line. The reason is because that line's constantly moving. So you want to have a good spot where, <clears throat> like right here, I'm I'm about a half car length off off the bottom. So, but it works good for me. If I got down lower, I might might have gained a hundredth or so. 
but you want to flow back out. You want to let the car drive back out, coming out of the corner. And you want to be as smooth. You pick a point in that steering, and you hold to it. I mean, yeah, you're going to have back and forth, but that's part of it. But you don't want to be jaggedy, like all over the place. When you come out of turn four, flow out. And you want to make sure... So right here, about right here is where you're getting the bank transition to the flat piece. You want to be below, you want to hit this part below that. Um, just to let you know, this doesn't always, this isn't always legal in all uh, racing. You might be in a league, they might not allow you to go below the, the yellow line to finish your lap. But... In eye racing, pretty much it's okay because you don't get penalized for it. But yeah. so get below the yellow line, below before you get to this white line, the pit entry area, <clears throat> and then just hold on to that. You know you're driving right next to this grass, so you're just kind of trying to stay as close as you can to that. You can get closer. I mean, I could have been closer, but I wasn't on this lap. And then as you come across the straight start finish line, if I'm closer, I probably would have had a better one, but I usually just straighten it up once I can where I cross that start finish line and then I'm going back up onto the track because usually my next lap isn't going to be, well, I don't have a next lap in qualifying. So let's do something. So you can kind of see. Let's do this lap right here. And just watch, you know, watch what I'm, where I'm coming out at. Watch my steering as I'm inputting it. You'll see kind of the inputs. Letting it flow out. I'm picking a straight line as far as I can, then I catch it right there. I'm holding that line, just as soft, you know, being as soft with my hands. Right now I have 10 to one steering. That's pretty quick steering, but that's actually what the professionals use in these cars. So that's what I do is I'm, I try to make my simulator experience as realistic as possible. So I use 10 to one. A lot of people use 10, 12 to one or 14 to one. Hey, that's fine. They do what they do. They do them. But me, I want to try to have it as real as possible. Try to get along that and then come right back up. <clears throat> so that is a lap around Daytona in the Menard series for your first and second qual laps. And if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. I do want to throw up some things. I do want to show you. This is my cool Facebook. I had this created by Signature Sports. You can check him out. He's awesome. He's been one of the little stickers coming across. You can follow me on there. And you also can follow me here. Also, if you guys do, if you're looking for a paint scheme, you obviously see mine. Mine's not the standard paint scheme. You can uh, get that, and that's with Warrior Wraps. Warrior Wraps is a great, I think there's audio playing on this. It's a great, the guy, Nick King, does an awesome job with all my wraps for all my cars, for other people. He's been super busy, but he will get you in, he will get you taken care of, and he will give you a great paint job. You let him know what you're kind of looking for or exactly what you're looking for, and he'll get it done for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of how to get around Daytona in the Chevrolet National Impala uh, fixed setup at Daytona and Menard Series.
Take care. God bless. Love you guys. I'm out. Peace.